Welcome to the Planet Pearl video tutorial for how to read cable charts. Supplies for today's lesson is the chart you can download at planetpearl.com. Now this chart is worked back and forth. You can tell because the, there are numbers on both sides of the chart. We're going to work the odd numbered rows from the right to the left, the even from the left to the right, just like any other color work chart. So each box or group of boxes is an action or a grouped action. So right side actions, knits and pearls. These two stitches in the first row are just knits, but you can see they're going to be twists when we get higher up. Then we have pearls, and then inside this box is a repeat of a cable lattice pattern that you can add additional repeats to make this pattern wider. So let's get started what's within the box. The first the two pearls and then these next four stitches represent a four stitch cable. And you can tell by looking at how they're written with even without any kind of a legend is it'll tell you what the first two stitches do and then what the second two. So you can see this leans to the right hand side and that first little leg will tell you where your first stitches are going. And this tells you that it's going back. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the first two stitches and hold them back in the cable needle. And then you're going to pull these next two stitches are going to be knitted. The next two stitches get knitted. And then you go back to the cable needle and knit those two stitches. And then of course we're going to finish out the row. Remembering these little knit stitches are going to become twists later on. And then we finish off our right side row. So now we're going to work back on our even numbered wrong side row. It's all knit and pearls because remember the twisting and cabling action all on the odd numbered front side rows. So the even numbered rows are really quick, no cabling. So let's get started now on our first twist. So you see it looks similar to a cable, except that it's only two stitches instead of four or more stitches, which is really the difference between a cable and a twist. This is a twist going to the left. You can see the first action, the little bottom thing there, shows that we're going to pull it forward. It's going to be in the front. So we're going to pull this stitch forward. We're going to knit that second stitch and then grab that first stitch back off the needle. So now we have two four stitch actions side by side. Now they look just like the cable below and the reverse of it. You can see the little leg and then, but it has a dot. And what the dot means, just like the purl dots, it means that you're going to purl the stitches that are on the cable needle. So in this particular case, we have four stitches. We're going to work two and two on the cable needle. It slants to the right, and the first action for the first two stitches is to take them back. So we're going to put those two stitches on a cable needle, hold it back, knit the next two stitches, and then we're going to purl those stitches off the cable needle. Now this next group is just the reverse action. It leans to the left. The first action we're going to take is to take these two stitches and take them forward on the cable needle, knit the next two stitches, and then purl the two off the cable needle. And now we're going to move on to our purl and then our two stitch twist, which is just the opposite of the first one we did on this row. So you can see they lean to the right and the first little leg tells you to take that first stitch and push it back. Hold it in the back. You're going to knit the second stitch, then go back and get the first stitch and finish the row. And that's it. That's how you cable and twist. Oh, poor Chelsea, she looks a little twisted herself. Come visit us soon at planetpearl.com.